And hey guys, welcome back. It's been a couple weeks, but we are back in the Wonderlands. I paused the game to start my stream. I unpaused and my dragon now doesn't have a health bar again. It's invincible. <laughs> All right, so I don't exactly remember where we left on what left off on quest wise like the basically the stuff that we just did uh i seem to remember that it involved coiled and underwater like ritual type shit though uh, coiled is basically all we've been facing in the notion but the uh we we were in the drowned abyss we completed a couple of side quests we didn't push the main quest too far ahead i think the last thing we actually did was uh we completed a side quest that rid a crab of its awareness. I I do remember that now. I think that that's literally it. And that that was when we fought the coil that you're probably thinking about, which were the three sisters. Yeah, I'm definitely remembering sisters. Oh shit, you can! <laughs> Damn, that's high. Oh. I I had never bothered to look for that. <laughs> I mean, honestly, kudos to them for even putting the frickin' beanstalk over there. I don't think, like, any other game company would have thought of that. Oh, I don't know. Someone probably would have, but it's always nice to see when they actually do uh, follow through and do it. All right, so we're ready to jump back into the Drowned Abyss? Yeah, you go ahead and take the portal. Well, we're on our way back. A quick word to my followers. Um, I actually found out the issue we were having with Pumpkin Jack yesterday, and uh, apparently it's an issue specifically with the PS5 version that... it. it, it for some reason hits so hard on the system that it forces the system to overheat and just completely shut off. So uh, I, I was looking up potential fixes and found out that literally all you have to do is download the PS4 version. So I I'm going to go ahead, catch up to the point where we were with the, uh, the Witcher and her husband, and we will go ahead and just pick up from there next week and hopefully just knock the rest of the game out. God, that, oh, that right. lich also, being the first thing that I... Yep, yep. I live! Uh, yeah, no, me and Bird got the same one. We both got wah! Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, oh. so... Yeah, no, we're so... still marked in a side quest, so I guess yep. we'll just follow the arrow. Talk to Quimble in the Drowned Abyss. And why that is the main fish? quest. Is that the main quest? Okay. Well, we have a burning bloom. You know, from the angle I came up on that, I thought that was a kraken with its tentacle around the ship. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. Friggin the, the normal chest reset. Friggin' badass came up and jumped in my face while you guys, uh, I think jumped down. Yeah, no, we, uh, we left off. I, I did notice something jump up. I didn't realize it was a badass, though. Yeah, I was like, what the fu- uh, And then I realized I forgot how to play because, uh, I played a little bit of Borderlands 2 again recently, and you switch guns a little differently in Borderlands 2. <laughs> you do so a lot was, of things differently in Borderlands 2. Yeah, so it's like I was pushing up on the D-pad to try and switch my guns around. I'm like, that's not working! I forgot my melee is a fish. It is. Your melee is a fish. Enjoy it. Okay! Five minutes in and I get a legendary. Yeah, I got one to drop just before. Uh, I found the Magic Class Ring of the Violent Shepherd. And it increases spell damage, 
There's no such thing as downtime and a good rotation, and then it does uh, melee critical hit damage, companion health, sniper rifle critical hit damage, and then while action skill is cooling down, effects are increased 50%. Okay, wait, hold on. What the fuck is this even supposed to mean? I got an armor mod called Blank Slate. It gives no bonuses to skills. It says Graveborn ability level plus two. It has two flavor texts, one saying corrupted, the other saying requires at least 1,500 clicks. And it <laughs> increases experience gain by 10%. <laughs> What the? I mean, I guess it's up to you whether or not you want to actually try to use it. Oh, fuck no. This is going on my Graveborn. I have no idea what ability level plus two means. Okay, we'll probably want to cross over this way. Actually, seems. Bird, you want to uh, you want to equip this and see if this actually does anything on your character? Alright, I'm right below you. I don't know what ability level plus two means. Yeah, feel free to hold on to it until then. It, it really is. Imagine if that's just some insane frickin' legendary that increases all of your abilities plus two. Oh, oh shit. that'd be insane. Well, I just walked off a cliff. We're setting the tone. <laughs> oh, wow. It sent me back a good ways. Yeah, I was fighting stuff, and I backwards walked right off a cliff. I'm like, ah, shit. Yeah, no, I think you did that right next to me. And it sent me all the way back to where we spawned. Gee wizard. Okay, already got another frickin' banner pattern I don't have. That, uh... There's a lot of purples like, over Jesus. here. Jesus. Literally legendary in the first five minutes. That was nuts. Yeah, two of them even. Alright, and then when you guys are ready, I guess it's into an area we haven't been to yet. Wait. Wait, hold on. What's that above us? Okay, you know, can I actually... There we go. That did nothing. Oh, <laughs> Okay, came up here to see if I could get on the ship, found a chest and a D20 instead. Ah, I literally just jumped up around it. A Hyperius shotgun of the murky depths. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't hearing anything major. Yeah. Hey, hey guys, I found another D20. How the hell did you get up there? Uh, there is a jump pad. Like, over there. Oh, okay. Whee! It's an eight. Well, now you get to see what that, uh, or I guess you can see if that frickin' thing does anything. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna grab a thing, like, a uh, vault over it, and it, that didn't happen, so I just carried my momentum all the way to jumping off. Hey, you missed a poetry page. 
hallowed in lightless halls, real sits his coral and cockleshell throne. For the rest of that poem, simply walk your little leggy legs to the tavern and bring them. Got that one didn't even rhyme the first two lines. The party chat's doing some weird shit. Like, I can't hear you hardly coming through the party chat. Yeah, no, that one was weird. It was like that weird, like, robotic effect where you sound like a machine. Bird, I'm surprised you don't want to hang on to this and for whenever we unlock our second ring slot. I guess that's fair. What does mine do? Spe spell damage, shotgun mags. Uh, yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'll take it. Heck, I wouldn't even call that greedy. It was yours in the first place. <laughs> eee. Okay. There's also a red chest in here. Ah, there we go. Hey, purple. Don't want that. Jeez. Apparently. What? That's weird. I'm actually stupidly interested, too. Wow, okay, I only had to type in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands B, and it already knew what I wanted. For blank slate. Depends on what the actual text for the blank slate says. Ignore the red text, as this is just flavor text. It, it, it's got the experience gain. Uh, the 1500 clicks red text is just a reference to Path of Exile. Um... Yeah, I, I, someone had another one drop that... It's got different flavor text called Krangled, and instead of ability plus two, it says Big Thunder Cubes plus three, with a picture of a rocket launcher. Okay, so I think that one might literally just be XP, because that one... Apparently the blank slate changes based on its flavor text. I mean, feel free to sell it, because that's, uh... Uh, that thing's level 37. The cap is 40. That That's probably the most worthless time to get something like that. Well, the cap is 40 unless the DLC changed that and we don't know it yet. Uh, the DLC, uh, based on the info I got, it did not change it. The DLC is too small. That uh, That one area turned out to be basically a single dungeon. Uh, so it's a really tiny DLC. Yeah, it's basically just like a bit of added flavor. <laughs> Pretty much. But it also added like 15 chaos levels, so. Mm, which is probably the core of the update, which is kind of irrelevant to us. Yeah, which, you know, funnily enough, just straight up pissed people off because uh, I think I told you about it, Mars. But... Uh, 
uh, around the time it released, so many people had just gotten to Chaos Level 20 because they basically rushed it within the month. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, I, I killed, that's yours. I killed stuff over here. Yeah. Uh, we did kill stuff. That's yours, because it's not on my screen. Well, fuck. <laughs> Crits for days. Okay, I, I guess it's about time we actually go somewhere. <laughs> well, I've been I've been steadily moving in the direction of the quest. Oh no, no, I, I get you. We just the the legendaries threw everything off. We made like no progress. <laughs> yeah, which is weird because that's not a problem we've been having so far. Too many legendaries. Oh god, no. Well, see, apparently this is sure. just gonna this is just Wimble. gonna continue because uh, it, it's all based on the loot luck. Yeah. Hello, Quimble. Ah, hello. I'll get right to it, shall I? My team and I have been studying the ancient glyphs, but the coil have been preying upon us and I'm all that's left. Perhaps you can um Really subtle there, friend. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Depends. A lot of stuff just happened. Yeah. Wealthy coiled. Oh, shit. Swords coming up from the ground? Oh, shit. Yeah. What? I think it disappeared. I had completely forgotten about it, or I would have straight up already been meleeing it. I guess we'll just have to keep an eye out, because I'm wondering if that is influenced by loot luck as well. Oh, I hear I was hoping my spell would go up there. Oh, is that the assault rifle? <laughs> you know, that makes sense, actually. It certainly makes so much sense. You know what? That works. Triple spike of jo Triple spike repeating. Holy hell, it does over a thousand damage per shot. I'm going to talk to Quimble again. Claptrap, you've never played a game of diplomacy in your life. Okay, um, I got something I didn't know was possible. I got a triple turtle shield. A triple turtle shield. The like shield? the triple effect three times, or the turtle effect three times? Yes. Huh. And how does that manifest? 
Uh, Aegis of Ironclad, plus 120% ward capacity, minus 30 maximum health. Hmm. Capacity of 4502, recharge delay of 3 seconds, recharge rate of just about 350. That's kind of impressive. It, it literally beats my shield in every way. <laughs> I'm gonna t I'm gonna take a massive hit to health, but I want to try this. Do it, you purist! Put on that turtle shield. Yeah, that makes sense. My shield is now six thousand and seventy-seven. Uh. I don't think I've got... Oh, no, I, I guess I did get that. Max ward capacity plus 30%. Yeah, I think uh, all of the ward benefits I'm getting are from... Uh, well, okay, I'm getting max ward plus uh, 12%. Uh, and then there's just my constitution bonus beyond that. Hold on. You guys missed something. Woo. Oh god, the cosmetics are dropping like mad, too. Ooh, D20 oh, and a red chest. Oh, crap. Ah. Dang it, I'm having that problem again where uh, my screen flickers to blue and that pauses my game and all that fun shit. Ah, uh, good god, you need a frick. I know, I need a pick up. I do. Okay. I got a frickin' necklace that's 20% Berserker power, 24% dark magic damage, and 42% gun handling. Okay, that's... Yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, by the way, Mars, you know how I made a comment of, um, the loot luck being account-based? Yeah, I'm looking around. The... The, the whole thing about Luke Lu Loot Luck now being account-based and how that would be kind of a cheat to level 1 characters. Uh-huh. They thought of that. Ah, uh, of course they did. Now, you only get, on new characters, you only get the Loot Luck of an area once you have unlocked it. Yeah, no, that, may that actually makes perfect sense. All right, so are we going to follow Claptrap and see what terrible idea he's cooked up? Yeah, yeah. Claptrap apparently rolled up the charisma character. We are all doomed. Yeah, I mean, it was so successful the first time when uh, he, he summoned the Undead King. We can do that. Boom. Oh yeah, no, it is one of Torg's magic missiles. Absolutely is, and that's wonderful. What's the Oh my god, his grandmother is on the uh, on the side of it. Yeah. Is he a Mr. Gutsy now? Okay, talk to Claptrap. Not to, over here. Not the personality the... I thought he'd get from one of uh, Torg's rockets. I don't know, I, I can kind of see it. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. So diplomatic. <laughs> Badass coiled Praetoria. 
God. He, he, he's like the frickin' side character in a COD game that dies in the intro mission. I know, right? What could go wrong? Negative energy plane, Nancy. I know, I'm uh, just kind of poking around to see if there are any dice hidden away in corners. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the way they're going. And to think, they're, they're still a, uh, a tier of weapon above legendary in this game. Yeah, and we still haven't found one of them. I'm uh, not sure I, if it's limited to the Chaos Chamber or what. Yeah, I don't think you can get them until you're in the Chaos uh, difficulty, at least. Commence frolicking, everyone! Whee! <laughs> Frolic and jump around the flowers, literally. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, it, it it's closer, but uh. Whoa, man! Wonderful. Oh man, now now he's Mr. Goodfeels. Yeah, probably one of the only actual personalities worse than real claptrap. <laughs> no, nah, it's fine. I keep my steel ready. Save us some time. I yep, don't think yep. it worked. <laughs> God, it, it is so hard to change targets with repeating spells. Yeah, it can be. Oh shit, I'm down. Never mind, I'm that, up. That was quick. Graveborn Stabomancer. <laughs> like a leader, but in reverse. Yeah, no, you definitely did not. There's a chest yeah, over yeah, here. You nailed, you nailed something, Claptrap. Shit, he's gonna get nailed. All right. So, having a look around, I'm not seeing much yet. Yeah, man, so I just push forward because it'll probably take us around the darkened area. Yeah, probably. Did he just say Jib the Mizzen Mast? Can we hit him? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
smack that booty. <laughs> oh yes. So who is his grandmama? That begs the question. I have no idea, but I I'm more impressed by the fact that we all knew to hit claptrap so fast that no one got a second swing off. Yep, that that happened. All right, Claptrap, uh, do your thing and fail. This one's actually going to work. That would be amazing, honestly. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Their heads are just going to explode. That too. Or they just run, I guess. He's gonna get rid of the robotic echo, and it's just gonna be human voice. I guess we'll find out soon. Okay, <sighs> here we go, I guess. That is not your real voice. It's a very low sounding voice. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> She's got hearts over her head. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Go full on Squidward, huh? Only in Tina's story will Claptrap ever get a five-some. Oh, God. <laughs> well, well, 
Claptrap, you should have configured yourself. You should have configured yourself. I mean, he seems to configure every goddamn thing else on a whim. <laughs> Ex well, that is not true. In Borderlands 3, he had success with Baby. Yeah, the only thing he's never going to be able to configure is a way around stairs. Well, he actually didn't have that problem before. Because remember, in the pre-sequel, he explicitly was able to climb stairs. I mean, yeah, but that was when he was frag trap and actually cool. You can wait a minute, because I found a lore scroll. <laughs> Alright, be there in a second. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Nothing anyone else can do about it. Where the hell did Claptrap even end up? Somewhere this away. Ah, uh, we've come full circle, it seems. Yep, that was the entire Evil Eye Crab, excuse you? Ow! Is that a fucking, like, beholder crab? I have no fucking idea. But it can shoot eye beams, so I'm assuming yes? Uh, it didn't have stalks that I could tell, but I was too busy shooting it to tell, for sure. Badass bone crab. Never mind, that's dead. Alright, now, real quick, before we dislodge Claptrap, I need to look at an armor I picked up, because it might be better. Ugh, feel free. I can't wait. Is Mythrank ba our new badass level? I I've been wondering that, and I know I'm going to hit 40 so. before. Yeah, no, I think that's correct. Okay, no, never mind. That armor's crap. Oh, uh, here, Mars. I didn't realize I picked this up. This is a Spellshot Clawbringer. With health regen. Hmm. Spell critical chance and ability critical hit chance. Okay, the ability critical hit chance is worthless, but everything else looks pretty solid. Let me have a look at what my current armor's special effects are. Plus 10% damage all to all damage dealt, plus 10.7% area damage. And then companion critical chance is what I'm currently using. Eh, fuck it, I'll upgrade to this one, because it does give me a spell shot power and clawbringer power boost, in addition to the health regen and the spell crit chance. I'm sure, since it's a higher level than what you've had. Alright, I guess let's dig Claptrap up. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, outside of a story Tina makes for him, he'll never be sexy claptrap again. We don't know that for sure. <laughs> oh, a save. Well, a 
as long as I can do my work in peace, I'm satisfied. Well done! And then just over her. That was that was some great timing. I know. <laughs> I'm so glad I just happened to turn and watch that happen. <laughs> what the hell did we get for that? That was a blue shotgun. Yeah, negotiator. Ye not guilty. Oh god, it's a torg. Yep. Oh god, I might have to use that. 142 times nine. Yeah. I'm yeah. interested. It's got impact and sticky. Yeah, which is, you know, pretty typical of Torg stuff. Jesus. Yeah, they, they fly around in almost way, like TK's wave-esque patterns, but not quite the same. Like, they don't do it in unison. No! No, they don't! Your reticle, it follows your reticle. Nyrm. Oh my god. Whee! I had not I had not thought to even check that. That's nonsense. It's fucking laser guided. I love that so much. <laughs> oh yes. That's why it's in a wave, because it's the recoil from you shooting. Yeah. That is so dumb. I love it so much. Uh, so now yeah. we're, uh, it's the main quest. <clears throat> uh, one uh, more, I think. The only side quest we have left is the one for the DLC. Ah. Okay, then no, I guess that's, uh... Let me check the map. Let's see, I don't think there'd be anything up there. We do have a couple smaller areas to look at. Uh, the quest is leading us to two dark areas. There's a third off to our immediate right. And then there's what I assume to be the boss arena. Yeah, but some of these pathways are also sealed off. We can check, though. Yeah, so it'd be... Yeah, straight that way. Yeah, Mars is going the right way. Let's see what's down this way. Ooh, vendors are down this way. Also, uh, one of those... Also, one of those puzzles... Oh, the, uh, the runner? Yeah. Alright, guess I'll handle that. Sell all this crap first, because I think I've grabbed everything I actually like out of it. Hold up, so, you you know, like, the, like, uh, the, the windfall sort of spells? Like, uh, the, I'm looking at a pulsing elemental blast of windfall? Mm -hmm. This one has the sticky trait somehow. I don't get how that works with this spell. Eh, if it didn't cost cash in the store, I'd say test it out, but... But it definitely does. Don't like that. Wow. Here's a spell shot Clawbringer right in the store. But it's melee crit chance, ability crit chance, and plus 11.6% to all damage. <laughs> Spore, okay, nothing there. Uh, I already had a 10% uh, bonus to all damage previously. Knuckled Arcing Sunder. Alright, let's see what I can do. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm going to try and follow you because the treasure is going to be at the end point. There's also a D20 at the two point. So there is. I'm going to grab that.
Hey, that leveled me up. Done. No worthwhile loot for me from the D20. <laughs> uh, jump pads. Wee. Oh shit! I landed, then I somehow bounced. Where am I? Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> that part wasn't canon, and neither am I. Uh, oh, there's also a chest over, over here. Oh. I just watched one of those platforms just yeah. disappear from the air. Yeah, they uh, they appear if you get close. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all, I, all I know is I, I just watched it vanish, and I was Ooh. like, oh, good thing I wasn't down there. Like, I was getting flashbacks to the friggin' Vault of Glass. <laughs> Oh, I see a blue. A blue fire dahlia. Toxifying nightshade of waterfalls. Okay, um, it looks like we've largely actually explored this little corner now. There's still like a little bit of gray left on my yeah. screen, but I'm not sure it matters much. Okay, it's burst fire, never mind. Ooh! Oh, that that was just the way down. Okay, so I cheated that puzzle. No. There we go. What do you mean you cheated it? Because you had to break an anchor to actually get in. Otherwise, that leads to a different kind of loot. So, let's see which is true. Yeah, no, I cheated it. <laughs> eh, who I, cares? I jumped around inside the... Uh, Roundabout of the ship, which I guess I probably shouldn't have been able to do. Ugh. Uh, hold on, gotta come back around. Yeah, say I'm nowhere near y'all. I bounced again. Oh yeah, I, I saw that happen. You just, you, you just died. I, I think that time I landed on the tip of a pillar. All right, I'm coming. That does indeed look like a D20. So good catch on your part. Yeah, we've gotten a surprising number of them here. Uh, I think that'll make, what, number 15 out of the 20? Maybe? Something like that. It should pop up. I'm platforming my way up to it. Almost there. Oh, I'm kind there's... of slipping and sliding a little there bit, is. but I made it. That's yeah, 15. that's number 15. Lucky you. Yep, I got crap out of it, as per usual, but, you know, it's fine. We activated it. I'll be there in a second. I'm mashing a giant crab. Yeah, fuck those giant crabs. Yeah, no, seriously, they take way too many hits to bring down. Oh, uh -huh. that way. All greens. Yep, me too. That's Thomas' favor. Okay, so let's see. Alright, I'm gonna start a Moving towards Fate Maker's gun damage. Hey, you still got better drops Light than any damage. of the rest of us did out of there. So I'm gonna start moving towards um, uh, another possible like gray zone, and uh, if that's a dead end, like with a door that won't open, then I'm gonna start heading towards the main quest. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I wanna <clears throat> what I wanna use for this uh, skill point, but. Don't think there's anything I particularly care for. I mean, just uh, see what works the best into your build. And yeah, this uh, this place is very much sealed off. There's a giant fucking piece of ship in the way. Yeah, okay. yeah, I know. 
Uh, I guess I'll just start working on my constitution now, because I've maxed out both my crit chance and... Yeah, I mean, that that is honestly, the I think, the best thing you could do, is once you've capped off your stats critical for your class, uh, I've been investing in my constitution uh, since, and uh, it helps a bit. I'm still a squishy wizard, but... It's already important for your fucking class now, isn't it? Yeah, no, that gave me over a hundred extra ward. With just one point. Wah! Okay, so now we have to complete the pilgrimage. And I am having difficulty remembering the steps of the pilgrimage we already undertook, so... It's fine. I'm sure nothing bad will happen as a result. Yeah, no, the, the next step is just placing that Emberjack, the fish. Yaw. Up here. Fuck you, giant crab. Boing. Whee! <laughs> placing fish. She sounds disappointed. Fire spirit. The temple has accepted your sacrifice. Follow that light. It will take you to the final step of your passage. She didn't want to sacrifice you after all. Unless that's exactly what the DM wants us to think. <laughs> just using a completely normal phrase that everyone else uses makes my skull crawl normal mm-hmm yep <laughs> fucking valentine I swear to god valentine's friggin ridiculous yep there's the boat that was in the way and the spirit just blew up the pass yep hey d20 I'll take that, and I'll take that, and I'll take the D20. Oh, that one lucky down. Fucking crab burrowed. Alright, there it is. Nothing's worse than when she decides to give, like, three voice lines and you roll the two. Alright, so that was what you rolled, was a two? Yep. Yep, bunch of greens again. All right, right, so shall we continue following the fire spirit? Yeah. Uh, hey, there's more vendors. More vendors. Ha <laughs> ha. And a fast travel point. Yeah. You know, for some reason, it actually gave that to me. Because, you know, it's been having the weird thing where it, uh, I'll walk right next to him and it'll, have, oh, hey, you forgot. Oh god. The uh the rocket launcher that shoots the heart is the signature item in my store. <laughs> All right, I'm good to go. I didn't have a lot to sell and there's nothing interesting in the store for me. Yeah, I'm checking uh nothing there. Oh Jesus, this ring is nearly made for you. Spell damage, spell crit hit damage, and assault crit hit damage. <laughs> I do like my assault rifles. I make no secret of it. <laughs> I cast... Goodbye! Oh, I was hoping there'd be something up here.
All right, let's go, shall we? Let's go die. No, no, we go make things die. We can do both. Have you not heard of the heroic sacrifice trope? I don't want to sacrifice myself for snakes. Hey, D20. Yeah. Oh, man. There's a customization. I hope this doesn't kill me. Uh, I think you take damage. I don't think it kills you straight up. No, not even damage. Oh, do you you weren't standing on lava. You were standing on a rock. Oh, okay. Whee! I did not see this because I was too busy looking at a customization that had dropped down there. <clears throat> okay. Right. Not quite that, but pretty close. 18. It's a lot of D6s. This is that pet NPC that the DM really wants the players to like. Okay. Hey, hey, Dragon Lord, you are not the DM. Yeah. Again, it's like he seems to be beyond Tina's control, which is typically really unusual, you know, just given how the nature of these games work. Typically, and you, I, I don't think uh, in D&D &D people have to worry about their characters becoming sentient. No, uh, but I always, uh, it's like my initial interpretation of, uh, of what happened with Butt Stallion was, oh my god, no, I didn't mean to like roll a crit or something and accidentally kill Butt Stallion, because that sort of shit can happen. <laughs> also, there's a D20 over here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can hug her. Oh god, no, I remember. Last time we played, they said skin so much that she said the next person to say it would spontaneously combust. <laughs> skin. Skin. I completely forgot about that, but now that you've said it, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I, I was wondering... I was wondering around the time that uh, Valentine said made my skull crawl because he couldn't say skin. Yeah, um, so there's apparently a huge portion of the map that's still dark. Sh uh, shall we decide to ignore it for the time being? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that is a whole section. I could sprint off there really quick and see if it's open.
Eh, shouldn't take too long at my speed. Yeah, and if it turns out the path is blocked, we'll just move on. Yeah, that's fine. Best reason for only one person to go. Huh. That's a heck of an environmental hazard there. Whoa, what happened? Uh, there's just a thing from the ceiling that's like dripping lava onto the ground. And it creates little pools of fire. Oh no, it's a, uh... It's an arena trap. Wait, hold on, that was... Did we already do that? Okay, yeah, we already did that. One of the things we opened up for rewards was, uh, closed up again. Yeah. Okay, um... Okay, so there's that... Yeah, I think you need to turn around. Yeah, I've just kind of got to be careful what I do. Oh, no. No, I'm going the right way. I love how that's the crossbow, but it's shooting out all those uh, bus saw blades. <laughs> What? Was that an alternate firing mode or something? Was that, like... <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, I thought it looked vaguely like bread looking, and I was like, oh my god, the bread slicer. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. A poetry page walks upon the windmill. Oh, okay. well, you found a scroll, apparently. Yeah, thought it'd be a d20, but I guess that one's a page. That was just a small area we didn't get to. We don't like any of the poems, Tina. Yeah, if I... All right, if, so yeah, if you're, I find, you're uh, there. Yeah, no, I know. If I find any D20s or chests, what I'll do is I'll just trigger them all. And we can just collect anything important from Lost Loot, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so now you should be able to see. Is it open or closed? It's, it's open. Shit. All right. I guess we gotta go then. It's a giant ass skull. Yep, yep. No, it's an entire huge. Oh, there's map. an obelisk here. Oh shit, that's what it is. All right, I'll explore the small side the areas good... while I wait for you guys. The good news is that there is a fast travel point, like, right over here. So as soon as we finish with the obelisk, we just teleport back over there and transition to the next zone. Fair enough. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, hey, coiled yep. guys, stop it. Stop it. This is not how we make friends. I found me a marble. Random giant crap. People were so scared that they had made the queen cry that they started bowing in the streets. I feel good too, except that tingly feeling hasn't faded. It's gotten stronger even. And it's maybe started talking. I sure hope it's not something evil and foreboding. Man, that would suck. <laughs> oh my god. Get out of here, you stupid. Where did it go? Oh. I shot a crab and it went far. What was that you said, bird?
did you find your way? Okay. I just cracked the map open. All right, uh, turn left and follow that path. I will be your guide. Where I love how it's like I'm hovering, I'm hovering, I'm hovering over you on the map, and it just says a fate maker. Yep, I just think it's funny. Wait, I just keep following the path uh, straight ahead. I am looking around. I'm, oh, there it is. Twelve. Uh, I assume the last D20 is not going to be in this area. Okay, now turn left. And then uh, you'll be in the temple where we are. I did that straight ahead, yes. Oh. What are you doing over there? <laughs> oh, well, I, I just... Okay. I was taking a live and let live approach so we could get this thing done at the obelisk. <laughs> no, it's literally a stairway. <clears throat> Turn right. There are a couple slightly shaded areas, but... All right, was the D20 up here? Uh, far back corner. No, no, oh, not up there. A, I found a chest. Uh, yeah, I not, guess I didn't. Not much of one, but... Yeah, D20 was in the back corner of the arena over here. All right, I'm just poking around and, uh, you know, looking at stuff. Oh, yeah, this is where the marble was. I see. All right, I just got an amulet. What does it do? Uh. Oh, it increases loot luck because, of course, it does. <laughs> did, did, did I just get experience for killing flapping fish? Yep, you you do that. Uh huh. I'm looking for uh. For oh, there's a chest the over D20. here too. Okay, fucking legendary out of the goddamn mini chest. All right, so I found where the D20 was. It didn't have much. Threads of fate of magnitude. Channel cast. Oh, you found a spell? Legendary oh spell. What the fuck? Oh, it's a crossbow. Uh. The fuck? I don't know. Hold on, what the hell is the range on that thing? Oh my god! I'm guessing the range is really, really good based on that reaction. Yeah, no. Holy fucking shit. Okay, Mars, stay right there. Stay right there and watch this. That looks fun. I wonder if it attaches to enemies, because it does 111 times 3, and that's obviously D.O.T. Okay! Oh, the obelisk? Yeah. I'm going to try this one. Yeah, I, would, I would love to have a spell like that. I'm hoping we get another. Yep, it seeks enemies. Oh my god. Oh, shit. That could be so mean. Especially given how my shit works, how I can just instantly cool spells down. 
I'll tell you what, as much damage as it does, you get a decent legendary for me, we'll trade. <laughs> I already have one uh, legendary spell equipped that's adding, uh, that makes everything into, like, blood magic or the, uh, you know, a dark magic. Like, even my melee and gun attacks uh, heal me. Yeah, no, that that would be a bit insane with this thing. Considering it does just so many hits over time. Oh, hi. Oh, King Kurub Hole Sunder. Ow. Oh, uh, what the f Okay, that was laggy as hell on me. Sure. Wah! His mighty meaty claws. Ooh, an infused moonstone of the heart sick savior. It improves spell shot power. And it gives me an 8.3% bonus to all damage dealt. Oh, there's another, is there? God, that's insane reach. Oh, man. Thank you. Yeah, that shit's bonkers. Oh, it keeps going! Okay. All right, I am now going to go ahead. There's one tiny dark area I could check out. You go ahead and fast travel. I'll see if uh, I might be lucky enough to find the last D20. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, hit the vendor just real fast, sell off my shit, and uh, then I guess I'm going to progress us uh, into the next zone. Alright, let's see. It's that way? Yes. <clears throat> Alright, I'm just a few seconds away from a possible... Let's see if I can't clear this up and see if that... That something! Hold on, I saw something over there. Was it a gold something? It's not a gold something, it's a very round something. Yep. Don't know how the fuck we missed that one. I am ready to transition us to the God Swell. It's right, fine. It'll actually. That apparently never opened that up. All right. Yeah, I got to the last dark area, but, uh, <clears throat> it was not a d20. Well, if these are account-based, then I'm sure on subsequent characters, as we come through here, we can continue to look for uh, d20s and the like. Well, Sometimes see, that's the fun thing. With fresh eyes is nice. We left that area with 19 out of 20. Good luck finding one. I mean, it'll probably happen eventually.
Well. <clears throat> yep. That, that that's some that's some drama going on, which, you know, the the Dragon Keep DLC showed us that there's plenty of drama going on at, at Tina's table pretty <clears throat> much at all times. Oh yeah. More Clawbringer spell shot. Damn. Dark magic damage, Clawbringer power, status effect damage, action skill cooldown rate amulet. That's actually so much better than mine. There we go. All right, well, once you guys are ready, we will press forward. I'm already done. And this area is significantly smaller, from what I can tell. Wow. Hold on. Well, that looks ominous. <laughs> oh, down there? <clears throat> All right. Whee! Well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, just drill. Okay, what? Okay. Fighting yeah. the god. Okay, this is the bunker master I know. Welcome to Tantrum City. That's a big boy. That's Welcome a big to Tantrum boy. City. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. He does know Tina. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Drill whose blood is thunder. Oh boy. Yeah, I think we need those lasers of yours now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it looks like it would be. By the way, the sticky mode of the new shotgun we got is doing hella damage. Oh, I believe it. Um, okay. We're all just trying to have fun. You're the one who set the rules. And anyway, if you hadn't said the S word, she would still be alive. Not helping, Valentine. Drill whose heart is fire. I don't like him looking at me. I don't like him looking at me. <laughs> well, Jesus, loot shower. Uh, and a legendary. Uh oh. Tina, no. We're not leaving. We're having fun playing this game with you. Yeah, that boss fight was awesome. And newbies kicking Mega Turbo Butt as the fate maker. So you're gonna stay? Like you said, fate doesn't divide us. Fate brings us together. Of course we're staying. I want to see how this ends. Oh. And maybe Kasara could even come back as a friendly ghost. Nah, she's dead. I'm over it. Quest <laughs> Okay, so. Right, so, uh, so uh, I have uh, found a uh, legendary Stoker sniper rifle, Drill's Fury of the Captive Royal. And I'm going to drop it because I don't think I am necessarily going to get the most use out of this. Uh, let me take a peek. Uh... 
choke them with your chains. happened <laughs> you seem uh, to really like whatever that was the alternate fire mode happened <laughs> i can make use of that is that worth a spell <laughs> <laughs> well goddamn you didn't even give me time to say okay it deals a deal <laughs> oh no 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 oh crap bird why would you do that well Actually, 1861, you know, I can use that one temporarily. Uh, I had to revive you because you're, you're down in the, the ooze stuff. Oh, I have a problem. I'm not here. Oh, no. So, oh, yep, left the game. Shit. Well, that's fine. Okay, I see. Uh, okay, so you charge it up, and then that happens. I see. Yeah, yeah, we got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. That actually pushed me to level 39. Jesus Christ. It uh, it pushed me way past 38. Alright, gonna bump up my constitution. Boop. I should have 20 constitution by the time we're level 40, which is, you know, not terrible. In actual D&D, that would be capped, but uh, it's still good in this. Yeah. Yeah, weird that you and I are effectively sitting in the same room. And, uh, and that happened. Oh, you're on Wi-Fi? Shit, okay. I had not taken that into account. What did I do? Wait, hold on. Uh, I see a blue light. Uh, I don't know. Do you think maybe you'll need to restart the PS4 to kind of refresh everything? Could try. And well, <laughs> that being the case, I guess we could take a short break while we, uh, uh, wait for all that to happen. Uh, maybe just close the game and go back in? Maybe, maybe that'll be enough. So, Mars, that uh, explosive orb I can turn into a landmine. Oh, really? On the alternate firing mode? Yeah, watch this. Okay, so you just shoot it and it stays in place? Uh-huh. That's pretty nifty, actually. I want to see how much damage it does. If it even hurts you. No, it did about 1,200 to my shield. Yeah, I was going to say, it didn't look that impressive looking at your shields on my screen, but uh, I did forget that you have a pretty massive shield. Massive at least compared to me with my 4,300. Yeah, no, so here's the stupid thing. So you know how I picked up a shield that had 4,500 as a triple turtle? Uh-huh. The boss gave me a shield that has 4,512 as a single turtle. <laughs> In fact, not only is it now a single turtle, which means I got health back, it also has a chance to absorb bullets and increases my movement speed even further. Of course it does, because everyone knows you needed more movement speed. 
Oh, of course. How else are we going to get them puzzles? Because holy shit, I'm zooming. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to step away for just a <clears> sec <throat> while we wait for Bird to get situated. And uh, I am going to uh, get a refill on my drink. I can do that. Yeah, you go ahead. I'll get some water. Just get me a refill, and then hopefully we can press on with the new quest, The Son of a Witch. Oh, what was that? Yeah, it just says you entered the game. Oh, what's the matter, boy? What's the matter? How long has it been since you went out? Okay. Okay, we're good, good. Yeah, I think so. Had to take an extra second there. The water in my five gallon ran out, so I had to replace it in, uh, with the new one. <laughs> oh, hey, red chest. Oh, of course. Another legendary! Fucking <laughs> god. Okay, it's a black powder and it's a crossbow uh, assault rifle. The prolonging crossbolt generator of the ornithopter. Uh, and the flavor text says, get this, it's a crossbow that fires more crossbows. Wait, what the fuck? That's what the flavor text says. <clears throat> well, it's full auto. And for a black powder weapon, that's unusual. Uh, shoot immediately at the floor. Yeah, it's just bolts. I'm wondering if the uh, effect procs on like a headshot or a critical hit or something. Because those weapons tend to be about critical hits. Hmm. I'd look it up, but I don't want to spend too much time on the computer while we're streaming. Oh yeah, no, I mean, I'm with you there 100%. Um, what I'll do is I will unequip my, uh, uh, my epic, uh, Dahlia rifle, Boom. and I'm going to sort of play around, uh, with this one, and we're gonna see how it works, how it functions. This does amaze me, though, that I have a legendary in four separate slots. All right. Oh hell! Now we can now. Now Bird can see what's in the chest. I didn't realize. I didn't realize I had actually increased. I, I forgot that uh, I took the ring Bird gave me, that boosted the stats on the ring by fifty percent because we were fighting a boss. So my spell was well, doing <clears throat> even more crit damage. Spear. That is, looks much more like a staff. Yeah, that's kind of how I interpreted it, was a staff. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right. I guess let's go. There's uh, nothing we to collect in this prophecy. area. We have another prophecy to read. 
or listen to. A prophecy? Okay. Only took an act. No, yeah, like I said, there's uh, there's gonna be nothing. The expiration's at one hundred percent, so it's really just gonna be if there's Chest. like. Yeah. Well, I didn't even get the chance to finish that thought, sadly. <laughs> oh. That's a blue Stoker okay. drum mag with fifty-five. Wow, okay, it's better in every way than this goddamn legendary of mine. Huh, interesting. I found a blue mystical portal. If you got me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna investigate. It might take me, yeah, back to the beginning. <laughs> it looks like. Wait, no, it's not. No, it's up onto this elevated platform, I think. And slide. Ah oh, well, whatever. No, that's that's the beginning. Yeah, it didn't seem to have anything important from the looks of it. All right, I'll send us through. Yep. Next quest objective is to go to Carnox Wall. Yeah, overworld time. Yeah, first time the whole stream. It's been an hour and a half already. Well, you know, we had exploring and, uh, you know, boss killing and, uh, you know, trauma, drama, everything in between. Yeah, sadly, no llamas, though. Nobody likes llamas. <laughs> Oh my god. Twenty? Oh no. Really? <laughs> I tried to punch it before uh, before it reached bird. Didn't happen. Honestly, uh, kind might, of kind of amazing. It might it's be not me. worth it. Might be worth investing in uh, like another cable uh, to uh, connect with, uh, so that way you don't have to run off of Wi-Fi. To be fair, Ethernet cables, you can get, like, a 20-foot one for dirt cheap. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we would, but, I mean, still, I don't expect it would be that bad. Eh. I'll look it up for you guys later if you need, because mine is... Hell, I think mine's, like, 50 feet, and I only paid, like, 8 or 9 bucks. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we got it covered. God, a drum mag assault rifle with my frickin' fire rate increase is just stupid. Alright, if there is a special crazy legendary effect that comes with this thing, I'm not picking up on what it is. I will say, though, that it's tearing through enemies pretty quickly. So, I mean, I mean, it's yeah. a full auto black powder weapon. Of course it is. Oh yeah, with its normally insanely high crit chance and fucking uh, crit damage, I'm sure. Why is the Iclops flying? Okay. Legendary! <laughs> really? <laughs> Legendary Jesus. amulet. Oh, it's a sacrificial Jeez. skeep. Uh... Let's well... see. Still. When health is below 50%, summon a sacrificial skeep. Cannot occur more than once every 30 seconds. So we have had this one. Yeah. 
Bird, this one might actually fit you. It's uh, frost damage, graveborn power, gun mag size, and status effect damage. Level 39, so it's almost about as good as we can get until we unlock Chaos. Yeah, it's actually a little terrifying how close we are to max level. Yeah, no, because like I said before, we still have three more shrines to unlock. Challenge buffs. Wait, what challenge? And why is there one that's 35% extra loot luck? Plus 10% strength. Let me know when we're ready to move. Plus 10% dex, intelligence, constant... Okay, yeah, go ahead. I don't know what those challenges are, but... Okay, now. For real this time. Right into another encounter. Or another series of encounters, really. These things tend to be multiple encounters. Maybe? The shrine pieces have been both. God, the way that spell turns is terrifying. Although, uh, now that I'm aiming down the sights and looking at my character fire this crossbow, I see that it's operating on a hand crank. Yeah, that's what uh, most uh, fully automatic black powder assault rifles do. Do 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 do. I'm coming to help. Yeah. Yeah, these fuckers are just uh, looking at me with their damn shields. I was getting them, but it was taking a little while, I admit. Hey, you know, th this blue spell isn't terribly bad. I only had one spell to equip uh, to give you that one, and it's a Merv Calamity. Huh. Wah. I don't think this game can figure out what actually qualifies as melee damage. I'm still just getting a random boost to my fire rate. I mean, there's probably just a lot of things that technically count. Get over here. Or not. Oh my god, a legendary. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. It's a ring... Allies fingertip pulse oximeter of the punishing blow. The companion fuck? Companion damage, yeah, companion damage plus thirteen point two percent. Oh god, the flavor text is hello nurse. Oh. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, then there's uh, 10, plus ten point six percent to spell critical hit damage and to melee critical hit damage. While health is less than fifty percent, effects are increased fifty percent. Oh, man. <laughs> How does that compare with the ring I have? God. I think I'm going to take this new ring. And of all things, that's a fucking Animaniacs reference, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it is. Oh, my God. You know what? Are you guys ready? We're fucking moving on. Yep. Yep. Let's do it. I mean, it just says, hello, nurse. I added the extra syllables, but, I mean, you, you, we all knew what it was from. <laughs> there, There is literally nothing else it could have fucking been. <laughs> yeah. What oh, did man. I do to him? I don't know. He did. I, I, oh, dead, dead don't begin to describe... I, I fucking used my action skill and he was just gone. Yeah, like I said, he did. Yep. 
Laser! I think I just set myself on fire with my own action skill. That seems like an unfortunate talent. What? Oh, what the hell happened to you, bird? Ah, I was about to say you were just up in the air out of nowhere. Okay, good. Thought I actually wasted that, but a quartermaster spawned on my frickin' action skill. Man, everything's just melting here. Yeah, no, safe to say we've gotten a little too strong. <laughs> Just... Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Nothing all that good. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh god, you're jittery. Yeah, a little bit. Should be the last round. Oh, that's definitely the last round. It's a toxic clump! Wow! And there's also blooms! Ah. So much toxic energy on the map. Yeah! Got it. A splut. Oh shit. I'm coming. Oh, never mind. Is that thing projecting a shield? No idea. Okay, now I'm coming. Ow, fuck. Okay. This, uh, this fight is actually, uh, that that fight was actually doing damage to us. <laughs> yeah, no, you went down twice. It's really trying to make me give up this legendary, and you know what? I'm fine with that. That's a vampire. What? Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know if anyone else needs it, but I had two of the same, uh, hero statue po uh, poses drop, so there. Apparently, I do not have it. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, once we're out of here, are we good to go? Yeah. Oh, not yet. Shit. Got it. Yeah, it's like 90% white and 10% green on my screen. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm thinking that once we're done here, uh, it might not be the worst idea to go back, uh... Or at least find a way on the overworld, like maybe a shortcut to get back to Brighthoof. Oh, we could just fast travel, but I can't guarantee how quickly and easily we could get back. So that's why I'm thinking let's look for a bottle cap we can knock over or something. Well, no, it's just going to end up being a relatively straight path back from the looks of it. Because it's been, she's been building bridges as we've been going around each, uh, or through each area. Okay, yeah, we I mean, have to get the ability to jump. How the hell? All There's right, no fucking way. Alright, I'll get this D20. Alright, yeah. Time for Bright Hoof. Y'all ready? Yeah, get... Do we have a... 
coiled quest giver? Yeah, we've got a coiled quest giver. Well, I mean, that NPC that Tina really, really liked was a friendly coiled, so... Uh, motherfucker, uh, it just really makes me want to play more Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, there there's a type of enemy in Final Fantasy fourteen in the second uh, expansion. Uh, they're basically the same kind of snake people. They're like lamias, and for every major enemy type, um, you usually get like friendlies that make a small percentage of them up and it, it just makes me think about them because they're uh they're primal which is basically like the final fantasy summon like ifrit shiva and all that uh theirs is lakshmi who you know i'm constantly thinking about because she has one of the best fucking songs one of the best boss uh songs in the entire fucking game uh, there's something on the bounty board. Yeah, probably the, uh, the coiled. Spell to pay. Ooh, the ultimate fire spell. Pretty enticing, isn't it? Oh, I guess not. Uh-huh. Alright guys, don't forget to claim your lost loot. Yeah, that's one of the things on the to-do list here. Lost loot and uh, probably also paying a visit to the blacksmith to get more SDU upgrades. Mine was literally all blue. Did that just say I had level 40 shit? It just gave me max level shit? I mean, you're close enough to that level, I guess. Voltaic Magus, Stoker, Crossbow, don't really care about that. Practiced right. Blazing Calamity. I got some purple stuff to drop out of there. Graveborn's Vestments of the Hive. Literally nothing of use. So, that crab boss that we just fought, remember how I said there's trophies in the tavern? They're cooking the crab. Nice. No, that one has... Or actually, maybe? I'm not sure. That, that one was there last time, but you might be right. Because I don't think we... We didn't kill it in this session. We killed it in the last session. So, yeah, no, you might be right. The big... Big wyvern's in the middle. There's the shark. There's the troll. There's the fungus. Oh, wait. Is, is that why this stuffed goblin is here? That was so Could early well on. Be. Yeah, it was one of the first, uh, I think it was the first obelisk or something. It was the first. Is there anything else up here? I'm not seeing anything on the second floor, so yeah, that had to be where that one came from. How many more trophy locations? So there's two, three... There are three more plaques... Okay, I'm gonna go sell all this blue crap. Yep. Alright, so... I'm at level 6 on pretty much, yeah, all the SDUs. Let's start chipping away at these. Yeah, I've got a whole 879,000 to spend. I don't even know if I can afford one of them. I was over a million. 
just barely, but I was, and now I uh, have spent a bunch of it. Oh, no, I can afford at least two of them, so we'll do the backpack. And lost loot. Backpack is objectively the best one. Yeah, now I've got 57 slots. Yep, same. Alright, so this Drixel character is also going to be in Karnok's wall, so that'll be nice. Well, yeah, I think that's the only actual area we have left. I'm actually kind of surprised that the Coiled's quest isn't here, because it's not around the tavern, either. I mean, it's probably the best choice, because I don't think there's been a single situation ever since we all unlocked four weapons that we have run out of ammo for any of them. I mean, okay, fair enough. Yeah, let me know whenever we're ready to go to the overworld. I'm good. All right, to the overworld. Devastation inbound. Uh, and toward oh. yon dragon lord's lair. I love how you can trigger a frickin' uh, calamity midair and it'll explode in midair as if it hit something. Hmm, I don't think I've noticed that. Granted, I think it's been a while since I've equipped a Calamity spell as well. Yeah, like I said, it's all I had. Do, 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 do. And down... Okay, that's not where that barrel was, but sure. This shrine is dedicated to Rokas Huntress, the patron god of Trinitrophis. And we're most of the way there on him. Need one piece? Yep. Alright, so we just got out of there. I'll go ahead and accept this. Right. Loot Ron Revolte's body! Wait, what? Yeah, that was the Don Quixote character. Huh. A pet's rest. Rip Crabbert. Well, that's probably the last shrine piece. Hey, jump! An upturned bridge stands before you, awaiting your mighty whack-clack. Hey, Lord. Permanently opened a new route through the Wonderland! Look at you, baby! Yeah, so, Bird, where did you find... They quickly moved to cleanse the seven seas of piracy. This was a resounding success. Okay, that's next to Crack Mask Cove. Oh, it must just literally be at the bottom of Tanglewood, because that's where he jumped off the cliff. I didn't even think he would be out there. I didn't realize. Never bothered to look. Oh, yeah, no, fair enough. He's a giant body, too. I need to remember where that is. That's so dumb. I wish I could pan the camera up. Ah, no dice. Da -da -da -da. 
All right, and I will work my way back towards that area that definitely maybe had a shrine piece, possibly. Yeah, no, it definitely has a shrine piece because the shrine piece thing just popped up on my screen. Whenever you're ready, Mars, let me know when you found the body. Because all you'll uh, be able to do is I'm, see. I'm, I think, going to have to give up. I don't know where it is. It's fine. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, so a pet's rest cave is actually farther than, uh, or not uh, in Karnak's wall, it's an encounter cave, so we can do that too. No. That was the plan. I wonder if we're going to get two more points for uh, level 40. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, there it is. I uh, can't interact with it, but now I do see it. Yeah, Bird already looted it. Okay. I wasn't so the, sure if we had to loot it individually or what. The text for spell to pay where we meet Drixel, it says, Drixel the wizard needs your help crafting the ultimate fire spell. It's probably for charity or something. Alright, since you guys have seen that, I'll go into the cave for a pet's rest. Yep. Let's do it. Let's go avenge the, uh, the, the pet crab. Crabbert. No, oh, it's not really avenging. Crabbert was already dead. The yeah, sea war just... Yeah, the body was desecrated. Oh my god, the speed! Oh yeah, I get to finally test this out, huh? Boop! <laughs> that did a lot. In tandem with Bird's Hammer, too. You're fucking kidding me. I fell off the ledge and there's a shark to puss down here. A shark to puss? Yep. It's not an enemy, it's just a reference to the B-movie. Damn, this thing hits hard. I'm not even trying to crit. Yeah, so come look over here. Hang on real quick, I want to see what's in the chest. Okay, nothing particularly special. Yeah, it's literally Sharktopus. Ha! Huh. That's horrifying. Uh, I guess you never heard about that B-movie, huh? Nope. It, uh, it, it was in the same vein as, like, Sharknado and, uh... Which I did see, unfortunately. <laughs> what, what was the other one? It was, like, Megalodon versus something. All right, we good? Not yet. Okay. Damn it. I. <laughs> you. <laughs> I I heard the first answer, which was yeah, and then I canceled it as soon as you changed your fucking mind. God damn. I, I didn't even answer that time. Oh, I didn't change my mind. I didn't know. <laughs>
The dumb thing is, I don't even if think it... I answered that time. So he, you were just like, are you good? Beep! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm at about 40% to 40, and then we'll see what myth is all about and what it boosts. I'm probably about 90% of the way to 39. Whee! Okay, that that one was fucking funny. Cuz he went right back to being a floating idiot. This is my domain. You are all my subjects. I rule you. Okay. By the way, you know, I've been looking at this sniper. The sniper is fucking awesome because it's both magma and a lightning storm design. Huh. <laughs> that thing just got owned so hard it couldn't move. Got wrecked. Do -do -do -do. Still getting used to the recoil on this crossbow a little bit. I'm not even aiming down the sight with this stupid sniper, I'm just shooting shit. There we go, now I'm 39. Hey, purple. Smash hammer. Holy hell, this sword hits so hard! That's a hammerhead! Oh, it's such a tiny crab. Crabbert's remains. A pet's rest. <laughs> well, damn. It's not a fox, so I really didn't. All right. Now, before we turn that in, I will head to the other one. I need to level up, so I'm going to do that real fast. And then I'll turn it in. Thank you, kind hero. I know that he'll never return to me, but I had to make sure he was at peace. Wait, 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 hold up. I just got sad. <laughs> God damn it. Tina's like, oh no, I don't want to confront my sadness. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, okay. I'm kind of I'm kind of with Fred on that one. Kind of undercut the emotion of the moment. I do love how the uh, the crab's doghouse is a crab trap. All right, shrine piece. Then I'll run and activate the shrine, and we'll jump right into the next area. Uh, who who canceled travel? That's weird. Whatever, let's go shoot stuff. Wah! I'm still waiting to even see one. 
Uh, okay, there they are. God, I'm hearing the sound for frickin' purples like crazy. Bye-bye. Oh, no. You didn't immediately die. That's a shocker. No. Badass bone crab. Come in. Get over here. Ow. Ah, yep. Don't know what black magic hit me, but okay. Thank you. I'm getting ya. It's around the corner. Hmm, I see a purple. What's that? It's only okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess I've never gotten a normal Torg shotgun before. It's called the Rumpy Pumpy. No, that is perfectly on brand for Torg guns. Like, oh, not I, even a I, joke. I, I didn't say it wasn't, I just said I had never gotten one before. <laughs> I'm ready all if you right. all are. As am I... Oh, good God. <laughs> you fucker diving underneath. I'm just gonna melee the hell out of you. Wow! I missed. Damn, that, that crab did some platforming, like, holy shit. Oh! That is so much more than a mine! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm pretty sure it does damage to stuff immediately around it, because I was taking damage near it. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's an arc trap. That was awesome. Yeah, we're running into that problem again where there's too few enemies to really fight us all on this map. It's fine. The encounter's not very long, so we just got to get through it. Yeah, I was going to say, it could be shorter, though, if enough were spawning so that we could kill them more quickly. Badass bone crab. Y'all. Yeah, you ain't gonna go underground, goddammit. There we go. Good fucking god, these things are just getting stronger! Okay, bird, this Thanks. one's yours. The throat test punches. Try. Nearly 4,800 shield with fucking uh, health regen. <laughs> with health regen? And the turtle is offset by the fact that it also grants you 8% extra health. Nice. What the hell are you at now? Good God. Ye that's yeah. uh, <laughs> that, that, that's a big old ward. Uh, that basically fucking dwarfs me. I'm sitting at 33 or 6317 with 2300 health. 
Yeah. We good? Yeah, yeah so no, that's shield. your fucking super tank shield. Right, now we go out. I'll go run and trigger Throatus Punches. So someone can go ahead and just wait at the... Uh... Yep. Really wish we could jump in the overworld. Not not for any express purpose, it just actually irritates the hell out of me that we can't. Extremely on brand. That's a bullshit lie. Throatus Punches grants us crit damage, not crit chance. Uh, you know what? I think I like that even more because we're already critting a lot anyway. Oh, I mean, that's totally fair. I'm just like, damn, Tina, you lying. That, that is. A big skeleton. Yes, it is. Let's fight it. I, I would assume so. I don't think we can fight him. So you're sticking with her in this pathetic quest, are you? Fine. I know what it's like to have your bait chosen for you. But I'm owning this villain thing, okay? World's not going to cover itself in darkness, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, more power to him, I suppose. Colliding Eruption of Decay. No, that's a self-cast. Excuse the fuck out of you. Holy shit. Impaling what? Ice Spike of Windfall. It, it's a decent spell. Uh, about 500 damage, 26% crit chance, 15 second cooldown. Then all of a sudden, minus 50% spell crit chance. So you know it's supposed to be 50% crit chance. Plus 100% spell crit damage. Plus 120% spell status effect chance, plus 596 spell status effect damage, plus 17% spell cooldown, 3 spell charges, and plus 16,150% radius. Huh. What the fuck kind of radius does this have? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bird, you weren't even looking at that one, were you? <laughs> uh, I think this is a new spell. So much frost. Yeah. That is, like, totally my speed. Um, <laughs> it's an hourglass. And we have to touch it. Wastard?
What's a waster? Oh, you know, a real son of a witch. Fucking goddamn it. We wasters are rare, powerful magic users. I'm a necromancer, but when I refuse to do that dragonborn's bidding, he ripped my soul out of my body and stuffed it into this relic. Dick move, right? Yes, dick move. Verily, a dick move. I <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, I guess this? Can I cast that in midair? I can! There's something called the reverse exorcism, where you sap someone's soul in your own body and then explode. In case you need some rest. Oh yeah, that's real. Messy stuff. Happened to my buddy Connor at a birthday party. Question is, was that the life or the death of that party? I mean, it can be both. Oh, good bird. <laughs> God, that was amazing. You saw that too, it leapt and died and fell right off the edge. Oh yeah, it, it died mid-leap. It was glorious. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shit, I didn't even see that, it wasn't... What? Okay. Paying attention, yep, that's my bad. Poison damage, spell shot power, gun reload speed, and dark magic efficiency. Okay, so this might not be super amazing for y'all, but it's just a blue uh, amulet, and it uh, grants lightning damage and clawbringer power, and its substat is gun handling. I have no lightning. Well, technically I do, but it's such a rare occurrence. Yeah, it's just uh, this one right here, that blue one. All right, let's go. Yep. What is this? Just a standard elevator that's also a skeleton. A skeleton. Cool, right? Desiccated it myself. The jaw is the elevator. Oh boy. God, that's even fucking bigger than I thought. What? Well... <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, the jaw came down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? I went to see if I could cross by slamming, and I hit... I impacted something... You hit a wall, probably. No. 
No, I don't. It didn't kill me. I I physically hit something with the slam first. Oh god, that's actually hard. Let's see, is that a small area or a large area over there? Oh, that's a, that's a large area. This is the direction where uh, we have to go for spell to pay. Yeah, bird, we gotta go this way. <laughs> that is so useful. Uh, I really uh, didn't... Red chest. We found an obelisk, too. Yeah. And yeah. Ding! Oh, man, there's a purple thingy up there. Yeah, there's a yeah, red chest. I just want to get up to that chest. But then, yes, obelisk time. Oh shit, I thought that was gonna. <laughs> it did not. Well, no, it's not turned on. How far does that go? Nope, what did you miss? Okay, and uh, I assume now we're getting a coiled boss, which means the coiled holding up the tankard was not actually one of the bosses. Although, I'm wondering if there will now be a second one on the other side of that entryway. Don't forget, Bird, if you ever think you're not going to make it, you'll get extra distance by slamming. It's obelisk time! Okay, well... Damn, that thing's got range, too! My hammer's got stupid range, too. I'm actually seeing frickin' damage numbers at massive distance. Another badass impaler. Yeah. Not anymore. Up oh, the boss is up. Shara, dust begotten. And it died super quick. Yeah, no, that was fucking fast. Legendary. Nothing for me. But I hit level 40, and I'm already halfway to the first myth rank, apparently. <laughs> Hang on, what do I... Okay, so this is another version, I think, of a spell that I already have. The Buff Meister of Adherence. Increased Level 40 gets you three! Still. Yeah, this is two spell charges, so I think this is actually a better version of what I have. I'm going to run a direct comparison. Hey, yeah, hold up, I'm going to run a direct comparison uh, if I can. Alright, I have to just... Act like I'm going to equip it. Okay. Yeah, this is way better than what I had. And yet, I still think I was getting some decent benefits out of that one. So, again, 
This is super under leveled, but I've been using it like this whole time. So y'all can take a look at it if you please. Let's see. Congrats on reaching Congrats on reaching max level, but your legend isn't over yet. You can now ascend to even greater heights in the Wonderlands as your character's growth continues in myth rank. There are four separate paths to invest points in. Points can only be invested in clockwise order. You only have to spend one point to unlock the connecting nodes, so the next time the path comes around, you can move down the path or keep investing in nodes already unlocked. As you collect experience, your myth rank will now increase instead of your character level, yada yada. And it's got Druid, Archmage, Blade Master, and Deadeye. Interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll get to see it myself in a little bit. I'm like 70% of the way, I think, to 40 myself. Okay, so this is interesting. So it, it does, it, it'll force you to go in clockwise order. You can put the first point wherever you want, and then it'll kind of rotate through, and they each, you know, affect different things. Yeah, like I said, it's under-leveled and stuff, but uh, I figured I would see if anybody happened to want it, because I just found Let's a level 39 Druid. version of the same spell. One of the first things you can do is increase your stats. Intelligence or strength. I guess I'll just start with Druid. Fuck it. So, Nuko, so does this interest you? Yeah, I was looking through my thing. Like I said, it's like only level 20, but... Yeah, I've got my spell. Alrighty. In the meantime, let's, uh... Well, actually, I wonder if there's like a d20 in this little alcove somewhere. Not down here. Doesn't really look like it. By the way, if you guys right. didn't hear me, for hitting level 40, you get three skill points and three stat points. Nice. I think uh, we got a similar, like, buff whenever we unlocked our second class for the first time. No, it was just level 20. Well, you did... Maybe. Maybe. That was a quick change. Yep. Clearly one of those beggars can't be choosers type scenarios. <laughs> it's like, I need you to kill me a god. I'll give you a goat. Okay, that'll work. I am Man, we're way tearing these fuckers up. I am way more accurate hip firing the sniper than I actually deserve to be. I remember, um, like in Borderlands Three, it was actually pretty easy to hip fire snipers in that game. So okay, I'm well, wondering there's... if it's the same sort of thing. Wyvern egg. You can't make an omelet without taking a few eggs. That's true. Okay, now you're just on fire, so haha. -ha. Okay, I found the D20. And it's a five! Whew. Eh, just a seductress. I already grabbed that egg. Okay. Uh, do, do. Over here, maybe? Oh, yeah, well, there's another circle over here. Another nest. Yeah, I found one. This will really singe the robes off the wizard's council. <laughs> Kick me out, today. I 
Oh, optional objective. Defeat Worthian. Yep. And he's melting. I'm not even over there. Yeah, he did. I see a purple over there. I'll grab that later. Here's egg number four. All right, so yeah, now we've got to find the one. last one. I'm probably already on the way to it. I'm getting the hang of this yep. As your wyvern. Damn, that's got reach. Legendary. You motherfucker, it fell off the map. Lost loot. Lost loot's a thing, you'll be fine. I mean, yeah, I know it's a thing, that doesn't help me now. It was an armor class, uh, armor mod, too. I hit the wyvern with a melee attack because fuck, why not? God, you get these fucking points quick, Jesus. Can't wait to see what the hell a quest completion does to my myth rank. <laughs> Soul. This should suffice. I can perform Grimble Fork's elementary reanimations. But be warned, the Dragon Lord's power is so great, most every skeleton race falls under his sway, no matter who is the race. You can. Yeah, no, that's fucking far. Gather that's bones. That's a lot of bones. Yeah. Big bone. No. That's so fucking bad. Yep. I've raised some badass skeletons for you myself, but frankly, there were hardly any badass bones in those piles. You can't expect me to make a badass skeleton with regular ass bones, now can you? Whee! I just took an elevator. Uh, is that the way we're supposed to be going, then? I, I have so. no idea. There, I move it back down for you guys. There we go. Yeah, and here we are, where we need to be. Badass skeletons. 
God hey, damn, purple. that that was so fast. <laughs> oh, actually, that was the Dahlia that was doing more damage than my Masher. Hold on. Okay. It's a crossbow, but I'll take it. Jacketed quaking sun. Oh! <gasps> yes! I got my repeating thunder back. I love how the bones they're dropping are literally bigger than the characters. I mean, it's full on rib cages. By your true name and paycheck. I mean, that's some self awareness there. All right. God, I've already put a point in three separate fucking uh, things. This is quick. I wonder if it's capable of maxing it out. It might be like badass rank where there's just no max. Well, there's a max on the stats, at least. The first thing you can put in each of the four trees is a separate stat. And you can only put ten in each. Druid has gotcha. wisdom. Archmage has intelligence. Blademaster has strength. And Deadeye has dexterity. Whee! Eggs and bones. Now, smash them with your weapon. I mean, I guess if you insist. It is done. Stand back as I ascend to the apex of arcade mastery. In He's gonna die. Or you will be set aflame with it. I just realized that's an ashtray. Kind of is, yeah. Oh yeah, did, did you not read the spell first, dude? I love that hoof. Oh, guess I gotta kill him now. Well, he's dead now. I mean, he was dead before we killed him. No, he's not dead. Assume something to do with this? There's a D20. There's a D20. I'm level 40! Well, that didn't do nothing. Undead Oathbreaker. 
All right, we got a paladin in our hands over here. Who is now very dead. It was just a badass, but it had a different name. Yeah, it was called an Oathbreaker. Here's another one. Oh, also, here's a chest. Yeah, just blues. Mithrink hey. Wow, that quest gave me two points. Well, now I can uh, go ahead and uh, do my uh, my points, my final ones. Hmm. So I can do bonus lightning damage, which does not really cry out to me. Bonus fire damage, eh. Sort of an aura that grants himself and all allies increased elemental damage. And increased action skill cooldown. I mean, I don't use an action skill, I use spells. Fate Maker gains increased damage reduction. Additionally, all damage dealt to allies is reflected to the attacker uh, as lightning ability damage. Now, I do remember I saw a purple Sure, somewhere. let's get some damage reduction going on. Why not? Yep, there it is. Eh, just a melee weapon. Alright, and then there's the myth rank thing. Oh. Something tells me this thing is not supposed to exist. Yeah, and so there's four paths total, and that's it. Okay. Well, I'm going to select Archmage first, of course, because why wouldn't I? Well, like I said, it doesn't particularly matter, since it forces you to go clockwise. Mm-hmm. And yeah, there is a limit on things. Oh. There's a limit on most things. It looks like the final ability has no limit. Ah, uh, okay. So that's where you would put your surpluses into. Spell damage, melee damage, gun damage, and ability damage. Theoretical infinite damage! I mean, that literally would be, because it seems to be 1% per level, and these levels go up quick. Well, they probably start off going up quick. Anyway, uh, I guess now we can kind of go back and uh, continue helping this necromancer get his body back. Gotta go get to that broken jaw. No chance we can stop by Bright Hood so I can see what that legendary was? Yeah, I guess we could do that. Yay. Gives a chance to sell things, too. <clears throat> and I guess once we scale this area that we're currently uh, in, I guess this wall... I think that'll put us at the Dragon Lord's castle. I think so. Honestly, I'm not completely sure. If only due to the fact that even with everything else that is in the skybox, we have not actually had the pyramid pop up. You would think it would pop up as we were getting closer. Okay, sold all my crap. Now what is this, and who can use it the best? Uh... 
Oh, so it wasn't a class item. It is a spell. Nice. Frosting Gelatinous Cube. <laughs> what does this do? You know, I know that's not what the reference is, but oh my god, I used that, and it looked like Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance for a second. What the hell, what? What the hell are you doing? Uh-huh. Yeah, and those yeah. things explode. By the way, here's my new spell. I don't know. I'll keep hold of my sunder. I'll test this thing out. Fuck. Mars, this shield that came out of my lost loot is absolutely yours. What? Capacity 4322. Recharge delay 6.4%. Recharge rate 513. 10% movement speed while full, 8% uh, max health, and 17% damage resistance to the last type uh, damage type received for 3 seconds. Enchantment on ward break, gain 200% spell crit chance for 5 seconds. Wow. You know, I just bought a shield, uh, but at the same time... Okay, so it's uh, its base capacity is like 700 lower than the one I just picked up, but... Uh, it does have a, well, charge delay and charge rate don't fucking matter to me, because uh, I regain my ward differently, but, uh, yeah. The enchantment, that, the max health, the damage resistance. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured as much. I didn't go, go to look, but I'm happy that that's the case. Yeah, no, there it is. Yeah, we killed that one. Unless we... Oh, for a second there, I looked up at it, I thought it was dabbing. It was the angle I stopped at. I, I do wonder... I wonder if we did kill both. It'd it's be nice if you could actually. It'd be nice if you had a way to check, but sadly you can't check past hunts here like you were able to in uh, three. That's fine. Well, whatever. I got my bouncy cube. Mars got a shield that might actually help. Oh wow, you can really launch that damn thing. All right, so are we ready to go back? Yeah. Fuck it, let's try this thing out. Let's do it, Karnakwa. That fast travel is so goddamn useful. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. And uh, I believe all we have to do here is main quest stuff now. Yeah, unless we pass by a side quest. Which I don't think we did. They're you, they've been pretty good about making those things easy as hell to spot. Well, I'm not saying we have passed. I said unless we pass. Oh, okay. I see where it put us. Because before he disappeared, the... Uh... The dude we just helped had another exclamation mark over his head, so I'm thinking we have to find him. 
Mm. Yeah, yeah no, he he's on us. he's on the map now. It just seeked out that badass and hit him in the face and forced him to explode into poison. I, I love that it's just a legit gelatinous cube and it's just hopping around the fucking area. That's amazing. I mean, yeah. it's, smaller, it's smaller than a gelatinous cube in D&D, &D, but I mean, it kind of has to be. Those things are kind of big. Yeah, no, literally, like, first thought I got was uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, because that's like one of the first enemies you fight are uh, gelatinous cubes. And that makes sense, since Baldur's Gate is straight out of the Forgotten Realms. We are good at killing jerks. Yeah. I mean, let's be fair, we're good at killing everything. Including ourselves. Oh, I mean, 100% true. Yes. I have a master's in self-killing. Y'all. Do okay. Yeah. Wyvern bomber. Well, that. Weird how every character you meet around here is a lonely failure fighting for air in the ocean of desperation, like Flotsam or Jetsam or whichever. Maybe it's something about you that attracts losers. <laughs> Maybe it's the only type she knows how to write. Okay. Wyvern dervish. Yeah. I'm trying, but the gelatinous cube ain't reaching these guys. Whoa, Mimic! Dead Mimic. Yeah, no, these points are gonna fly, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, D20! Sixteen! Okay, not bad. Noise. I mean, yeah, go ahead. Because that, uh... I have a Spore Warden, but Clawbringer was not what I was planning to make it. That's the only problem with legendary class items, is they can be absolutely random. Oh, yeah, wow. I came down somewhere else, I think, other than where you guys went. Yeah, no, where the hell? Oh, yeah, no, you're all the way over there. I'm kind of curious what's over here. Although, uh, oh, wait. I have a quest marker. It might be that uh, that one motherfucker. No, it's not him yet. It might be him. There there was an exclamation mark further on in the dark zone. So I was assuming that that was him because he'd technically be the only one we knew about without exploring there. Cube, go! Okay, sure, dipshit, just run into the exploding poison mine. Ah. 
Ага. Here? Nope. Uh, oh, there's an entire other pathway over there, I think. Oh yeah, no, they, there are two small paths over here. Well, I guess let's go find out. We'll find out what we got. That works. Oh, D20. Yeah, you knew there had to be one on that frickin' axe oh, yeah, blade of, of a turnaround. Bird, you passed the D! I also have a myth rank point. Boop. I'm fucking hungry. I think after the stream, I'm ordering some pizza. Hey man, you do you. Yeah, it's actually surprisingly been a good minute. I've been doing well on uh, restraining myself with eating out. <laughs> but I just yeah, need... it's one of those things that gets easier the longer you go without. Yeah, it, it also feels more significant whenever you actually do it again. Oh, yeah. Between the money and the weight loss. Like, geez. I'm also going to grab my uh, grab my bike and go see if I can take some decent... What is that down there? Oh, cool. Oh, a chest. Anyway, yeah, see if I can take any decent pictures. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't jump? I turned around just in time to see him completely plummet. Oops. Oh, puzzle. Alright, uh, anyone want to try or you just want to rely on Whee! my speed? All right. Where are they? On the elevator. I, I don't see number super two. Super murdered. I have to catch up to where we even were. Ah, there's number two. Yeah. Up oh. and jump. And I've got to move that guy. Cool. Oh, fuck. As soon as I <laughs> made the jump, as soon as I did the jump, it activated. <laughs> All right, cool. That's my second death there. Well, I've officially turned around to see both of you guys plumbing now. <laughs> Oh, if it gave the same for you guys, you'll have an emote here called Pony Ride. Well, we'll see if I can get there. Oh, oh my god, that was fucking awesome. Yeah, no, I had to rush it, so I didn't, uh, didn't quite see much. Ah, uh, nothing there. Is there anything anywhere else? No. I did notice that uh, the the area I jumped straight down for the chest, I guess, has a subsequent area that you were actually supposed to jump up to first. And I think, yeah. Yeah. What's that yonder? That is a cozy day, Dennis. That works. Yep, there's the elevator. Well, that was uh, literally it. 
Nothing particularly crazy with the chest. Got another point. Oh god, Blade Master has strength and constitution. Yeah, Chilla. it figures that all points would probably be... Re all, all six scores are probably represented in uh, myth rank stuff. Yeah, it just means that uh, Bird is going to get even stupidly tankier. I mean, honestly, that's good news for uh, all of our main stuff. Like, my intelligence means my spells are going to cool down even more stupid fast. Uh, and I think... If not all three of us, at least two of us have heavily invested in dexterity uh, for more crit rate. Yeah, I am uh, full dexterity, full strength, so I'll actually be making beautiful use of that. My current crit chance non-headshot is 9.2%. Okay, so there's nothing up there. Was that both? Oh, wait, there's a D20 under the less cool elevator. Okay, and I guess we cleared out that whole area, so I shall now meet you guys back. What was it? Oh, 17. Oh, jeez. What's it do this time? Oh, it's another Threads <clears throat> of Fate. Ba boom Those Yeah, like what I gave laser. him. I've got all the magic I need. Yeah, it's probably a slightly better version than what I currently have. Yeah, it's the exact same kind, too. It's just got an enchantment on it, which mine doesn't. Alright, shall we ride the less cool elevator? I suppose so. This is slightly less cool. There is a quest up here, though. Ancient powers. Drixel needs your help exploring the ancient ruins. Place of power. Gotta be. God damn it. Yeah, it's a no, Witcher it's 3 reference. Yeah, he's got another thing for you. This one's got, like, ruins. It's over here. Yeah, because... Uh, place of power. Place of power, gotta be. Anytime you find a place of power in The Witcher 3, that's exactly what Geralt says. I I don't understand why that, uh... Why that fucking wanted poster was there, though. Because Drixel ha had the quest, too. And he's literally yeah, right just, here. It's just multiple ways of getting the quest. Although, yeah, it makes more sense that that should have been in, like, Bright Hook. Yeah. Chest. Toxifying Sunder. Huh. All right. Hey, Drixel, what up? Join me, and we may taste true power together. This fucker still ain't learned his lesson. Ball 
Once we find them on the way, are yours to keep. In for a penny, in for a pound, I suppose. A simple ward bars the way. Allow me to dispel it with a mere thought. Child's play. I can sense your ambition. Dreadlord. Yeah. Yeah, it's not obvious or anything. Chest. Shit. Yep, pretty shit. It's a rune. Yes, it is. Yeah, there's another one here, too. Yeah, okay. I'm actually, uh... There's five, actually. Wait. Yeah, I just shot it. No, it's a separate order. Hold on. One looks like Kanji. Okay, so it seems like there's three of them. I'll see if this is a correct order. TJ Kanji Circle. It's Kanji. get out a weapon that doesn't do multiple shots per. Uh, is it because multiple hits? Oh, hold on. Nope. I think it's because I hit something multiple times. No? What the hell? There's literally no difference happening. Hmm. In order, it was this one that's got like a TJ on it. Then the one that looks like Kanji, then this circle one. What if uh, that's just not the right order? Well, that's just it. Just shooting them all gave the same reaction. That's red on all. Oh wait, all. there's a there's a fourth one, I think. Okay, so coming in here. So here's the first one. Right there. Okay, so then that one's a circle. One. And then that one up there. Okay, so it looks like just the four, so maybe the fifth one doesn't get shot? Maybe. Okay, so let's see, that's the circle. Alright, let's see. Yeah, because I don't see the fifth one at all. Okay, a circle. Oh, shit, that was actually the wrong one, that's upside down. So that one, then that one, then that one. There we go. God fucking damn. Oh, piss off. You didn't do a thing. Oh, that was a weird one just because it gave no fucking reaction until you finished it. Yeah, which is honestly not a terrible way to do a puzzle. I mean, you're not wrong, but... Still a bit of a pain in the butt. Eh, not really. 
forgot what I had for a second. Dreadlord keeps talking to us. I don't like it. Oh, well. Boop. Oh, uh, no, never mind. I already looked down there. D20. Yeah, sadly, no golden, baby. It was a 15, though. Again, I'm not really sure what the significance is there, but... Uh, I think it just it compounds with the loot luck, maybe, and you have higher chances of better gear at higher numbers. There's a chest up there. Okay. These are So we're hunting What's for keys. What's over here? I see a chest. Yep. And it's full of trash. Yep. Hi! Bye. Eh, not quite. Close enough, though. Oh, it's a coiled caster. It's like the boss. Uh, I don't think it's a boss so much as an enemy type that appears in here. Nah, I didn't say it was the boss. I said it's like the boss. Uh... Like the one from the last obelisk we fought. Gotcha. I see now. Well, that did nothing. Man, we have so many lasers going around this fight. <laughs> Okay, so here's one key. The keys to all power, but I can only open the door. Only you can choose to walk through. Uh-huh. That sounds like a uh, big-time warlock patron. And kaboom. Way forward. All right, looks like you maybe found the dead end. Or not. Yeah, I mean, the key appears to be this way. No, it just really didn't matter which path you took. Haha! <laughs> Watch that barrel. Yeah! Boing, boing, the key boing. Thief. Magical key. Open the door before that voice starts up again. I am always the dark harbor of your hidden heart. There he goes again. Okay, nothing seems to be up here. Well, go on then. You didn't get those keys 
Oh, shut the hell up. So demanding for a guy doing none of the work. Chest up here. Can I get my next legendary already? I want to see what other weapons there are. Are you quite done yet? Okay, surprisingly nothing over here. Said there's nothing out there? No, nah, nothing at all. No D20, not even a basic chest. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the spot on my map regardless. Oh. You remember what to do, right? A marble. Ow. Ow. Motherfucker! What? She just goddamn knocked me down. How the hell do I get back up that way? What is with the tiny, super quiet music I'm hearing? I don't know. Now you're talking about this path that I also fell down? Yep, that's where we previously were. Also got a point to spend, but that can wait. How the fuck? Is it... Is it up there? Where is it fucking... God damn it. That's not where the marble is. I don't know where it's point. It says below. Oh. Motherfucker, it's behind a goddamn gate with a key. Oh. I see. Probably can't get to it yet, then. No, but interestingly, I think that's the very same pedal that's blocking us outside. Out in the overworld. Do you not tire of the tide of this world's suffering? Incessant fall. God, there's really not much of anything out here, huh? Seriously, I was like, what the fuck? I was expecting maybe a D20 to be somewhere. <laughs> Wyvern! I love it when your guys' fucking mics cut off. Yeah, I mean, is it... Uh, can you at least hear? Oh, I can hear you. I just heard Wyvern! Ah, uh, okay. Oh, look, it's Wastard.
marks on the temple of this. We need someone to watch for signs of possession when I get old. Must like this, a no elementals, 510 and up only, baby. Jesus. <laughs> I would absolutely yeah. love if someone put that on their dating profile, though. I mean, it pro someone probably has by now. They probably saw that and be like, I'm going to copy pasta the <laughs> shit out of this. Yeah. Oh. He gone. Fine. Can you climb it? <laughs> my first one was, my first thought was, hey, let's climb the spine. D20. Didn't give me shit, but. No, I'm first. I'd rather gnaw my own ears off than listen to your crap. Let's go. My character agrees. Me first. Doesn't stop us from having to, though. Okay, it looks no like there's shit. nothing in the room. Like, there are dark foes that work here. Alright, so we have to have Drixel start the ritual, so I guess I'll go talk to him. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, this slow ass. Hurry up. You think he's supposed to be in there already? Eh, not, not at this walk speed. Jesus Christ. And I thought Ron Revote was bad. This side quest is annoying. He He's trying to be needlessly dramatic. It's like, dude, fucking run. Look, I'll show you. <laughs> this is running. Do you see how much faster it is? You slow-ass fuck. Uh, it'd be nice if we could meditate, like in Witcher, past the fucking time. Maybe he'd be here by now. No, we, we'd come out of it and he'd still be walking. This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Did you light yourself on... <laughs> oh my god. I can't wait to kill this motherfucker, because you know that's how this ends. Nah, yeah, he's gone. Motherfucker. Hey, you're still not dead. Bitch, get out of here. All right, well, there's more, uh, more points for me to spend, apparently. Uh-huh. Fuck it. Sacrifice and produces a spell from their essence. 
You may keep the spell. I'm far more intrigued by this ritual part. Your pride will be your downfall. I believe this was but the start of a much larger ritual. I can perform the summoning again, but the foes will be more powerful, as will the finished spell. Let me know when you're ready to face this next challenge. In the meantime, I'll open a portal to make our cutting... Well, been a while since we've had an arena. Yeah, I guess it has been, huh? Blue spell, All right, so blue what's spell. the spell? Not that one. Did it just give us a random spell? I only got Dancing Arc Torrent. Yeah, I got Triggering Quaking Sunder. I got some points, though. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like the XP is slowing down at all. Hmm. So, my bag is full. So <laughs> now I'm thinking, shit. Is there a, Hold is on. There a fast travel close-ish by? There's a portal that leads, like... Yeah, there's a portal right next to a fast travel. Cool. In that case, I'm going to fast travel... Back where, uh... You know, I'm going to try to find a fast travel point that's kind of near a store. Shit. Karnox like, Wall, Southern one? Rise. Soltorn Rise? Yeah. Soulthorn wise. Uh, I was in the middle of uh, fast traveling, so. Yeah, we only travel together if we leave the area. Oh, shit, actually, how the fuck do we get across there? Yeah, yeah. I don't think we can get across, though. Yeah, there'd be wyverns here. Okay, so best thing we can do, I guess... Fuck, there's fast traveling back to Brighthoof again, because there's no other available store here unless there's literally one uh, when pushing ahead the main story. Eh, fine. We'll do that then. We'll do that, and then we're going to go back to that uh, arena, because that seems like it could be interesting. You complete however many rituals he has, and it gives you a legendary? I mean, maybe. If the second round gives us a purple, then I am going to assume that that is the truth. <laughs> Uh, yep, and we've got uh, roughly a half hour left in the broadcast. We'll see how quickly we can blow through this arena. Just sell everything. Stovepipe, boot licker, or boot knocker, one of the two. What the fuck happened? I'm at one and a quarter mil. Yeah, I've broken a million again, so... Time to pay the blacksmith another visit. Yeah, because I'm not really finding anything terribly interesting. Stabomancer Clawbringer. Actually, hold on. That's not... I said open my damn menu. What else is it boosting right now? Dragon wings. Oh, down there. All right. So there we are. I've purchased I everything care I care to from the blacksmith for right now. I actually purchased a better class thing. 
better armor. Holy shit! Plus 30% Clawbringer power, plus 15% Stabomancer power, plus 20% movement speed, plus 30% max health, plus 25% spell damage. Well then. You're right, Mars. I wasn't fast enough yet. What did that do to my armor? Oh, that is actually some badass armor. So, how stupid can this get? Okay, yeah, no, this is fucking fast. Jesus. <laughs> I'm like fucking Doom level zooming now. Polished granite. New pose of the judge. Nah, I like my Power Ranger pose. Alright, I just raided my lost loot because I realized that there was probably something. There wasn't a lot there, but I uh, got something. Uh, Wouldn't sell that. I'm actually empty. I picked up everything. Wow. All right, so I guess when everyone's ready, we'll go back to Karnak's wall, and we'll do an arena. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just here fucking zooming. Why the fuck is it? We play co-op games. I always end up as the fastest character. I have a feeling that that's what you end up prioritizing. I mean, not at all. It all... I... I don't I'm... think you I don't think you're consciously prioritizing it, but I think you prioritize it. I I'm really not though. Literally the only reason I've got such high movement speed right now is because my shield and my frickin' uh character item are way too fucking good. Like well, at uh... the core of it at the core of it is that extra speed is uh a portion of it is coming from just the fact that you're a stabomancer. Which, you know, uh, I, I think you typically fall under, like, the playing the rogue category of characters, pretty much. Yeah, cuz... Yeah, okay, oh. um... Yeah, we've got to, uh, portal. head back this way. It, it is, you guys gotta head back this way. Yeah, there's not one in the arena. No, it's That'd just be right nice. here. All right, here's Drixel. Ancient Powers Part 2. Ready for round two? Yeah, no, that's a fucking arena. Are you prepared for the next phase? Fuck, let's do it. Let's see. Yeah, the reward's an epic spell now. All right, we have to initiate the ritual. Uh, talk to him. Talk to him, I suppose. Let's get this over with. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, it's coiled. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, here we go again with this. Super fire rate. You know I You know what yeah, I'm doing the fire rate bonus on the shotgun. I need to see this. That that was actually far quicker than any other arena. Yeah, I was gonna say what?
created spell, fighting me will be your greatest regret. Yeah, purple spell. And that, that just gives a random purple spell. I got another dancing, dancing arc torrent. Of the marked. Yeah. Okay, I guess right into round three, fuck it. Third time's the harm. Yeah, yeah, started already. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god! I had my fucking characters on the same goddamn page as me so often. Okay, so it doesn't do much on the shotgun, sadly. God, I can't control the sniper. Just the recoil on it too much? Yeah, it, with the uh, boosted fire rate that I get after melee damage, it was bouncing all over the place. Aegis of the Touchy. No Touchy! I've got to get me another one of those really stupid high uh, fire rate SMGs. Where'd you go? No. Yeah! So many purples. <gasps> I ask and I shall receive! Fucking... 10 RPS SMG. Dark magic, too. Ain't that a bitch. Yeah, yeah, you can wait a second. Another yeah, triple a lot ice of fight. Shit to pick up. Okay. It's another epic this time. More points. I'm just gonna blast points into each of the, uh... You will not live to regret your decisions much longer. And part four... Four score! Oh, hurry up already. Okay, reward is not a spell. Maybe it's a class item? No. Oh, it's the Dreadlord. And he is super weak. Yep. Legendary! Hey, it's a Fairy or SMG. Finally, a new archetype for legendaries. Empowering Fragment Reign of the Enchanter. And it's worse in every way than what I already have. Well, on paper it is. Did that just warp? What the hell? Speak with me when you wish to face 
What is that? Oh, uh, and this is a gun. Eight piece of jealousy. It might look like a gun, but it's actually a plus one wand of bullets. <laughs> That's actually not what I got. I got the Dreadlord's Finest. Your soul uh, well, is mine. It is, yeah, it, uh, I got that too. Yeah, um, but that was just the uh, the flavor text of the gun that I picked up off the ground to complete the quest. Oh, gotcha. Uh, and now we can do it again. Power the, five. The, the, final, the final round, round again. again. Oh, is this just a repeating quest because he's a boss? No, that was part four we just did. This is part five. Like, there, there's an actual sequence to it. I guess we'll see. Try out this new weapon. Oh, him and the forces together. This uh, is not really going to go any easier for him. <laughs> he's still talking even after he's dead. Like, that's how quickly we wrecked his shit. What's it give us this time? Oh. <laughs> okay. What? God, how many times are we going to be able to do this? I don't know. No, no yeah, again. no, this this just repeats it. It's part five again? Yep. Hmm. I guess we'll do it one more time. I mean, it, it seems like we could basically just farm him for legendaries. Because he's technically a boss enemy, I think. Or at least a badass equivalent. Yeah. I honestly expected more from this, though, to be honest. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, yeah, that really didn't get much. And life essence just turns into a couple thousand more cash. You have proven to be a worthy foe for the Dread Lord. And I think I have the hang of this summit by now. If you should wish to face him again and earn more riches, you need only ask, and I will summon him. Yeah, okay, so that is less cool. Also, that is a pet peeve of mine in Borderlands games, is repeatable quests. Because then there's just this quest exclamation point that stays on our goddamn uh, map forever. Yep. And the completionist in me fucking hates that so much. Well, that got me two more points. I'm already at fucking myth rank 13. Ow. Thing's actually a little hard to use. Oh. Oh, this, uh, this legendary is a full body black powder. Every connecting shot ricochets. Nice. That, like, really brings a new definition to submachine guns being the crowd clearer. Alright. Oh, shit. That was almost bad for me. Yeah, we've got a little uh, more than ten minutes left. Yeah, we got time. Let's press forward and acquire the powerful relic. Oh, he's 
absorb soul energy. Even sucks it right out of the ground. The Dragon Lord's been using his armies to mine it out. But then, he ordered me to start turning living people into undead workers. Man, I refuse. And now look at me. I mean, yeah, okay. It sounds bad when he says it. But the guy's body is crazy full of power. You would think <laughs> using it. You snooze, you get your soul ripped out of your body and thrown in the ocean. As the saying goes. I don't think that's how the saying goes. No, no. I think he's on to something. Something down here? Oh, D20 down here. 20! Nice. So where was it? Oh, it's down there. Yep, all the way down. I have gotten so many brand new cosmetics today. All right, let's go. Run, bitches. Hey, another D20. Right. Okay, no. I don't know why, but I thought I was getting feedback. For a second there, I thought I hit my, uh... thought I hit my fucking mic, uh, feedback thing. That was another 20! Alright, so where was the other D20? Yeah, right by, uh, Bird. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Oh, freeze already! Can't wait to see how strong these things get when they're in chaos level. Yeah, I mean, um, that's going to be the end game content, so I imagine we'll be doing that probably at least a few times uh, on stream whenever we progress to that point. Eh, we'll see. I'm kind of curious to see how it plays out. Jeez, Mars, you're just now getting a hang of this killing business? I didn't say that. My character did. <laughs> right, okay. nothing hidden around there. I got points to spend. Yeah, so do I. They, I don't think these things go any slower. We'll find out, I guess. Although, you could be right, because honestly, it seems like there's a lot of ranks of each to purchase. Yeah, so I don't think it goes any slower. Alright, press forward and see what we encounter. Looks like there's a chest across the way. There we go. <laughs> Bird, there was an elevator. I'll help! Because I didn't absolutely not fall... Actually, hold on. That thing is active now. What thing are y'all on about? Ooh, actually, Mars, get down here. The red chest is closed again. All right, I'm uh, I'm fighting coiled right now.
What is up with this music? This music is so weird. My god, there are so many coiled up here. Alright. Bird, you go ahead and claim that treasure and uh, join us up here, I guess. Ooh, what's that? No. <laughs> What'd you miss the jump over to the treasure? Okay. Platforming is always going to be like one of your video game weaknesses, isn't it? From what I hear, always has been. Eh, everyone's got one or two. For me, it's versus uh -huh. games. I'm shit at them. Okay. D20. It's a two. Eh, <laughs> yeah, good enough. Whatever boosts our loot luck. God, you know that. That just looks really fucking good when you. Literally leap over an enemy just to turn around and slam the hammer down on them. Oh, yeah. You feel like a badass. Which, to be fair, is kind of the entire point of Borderlands games, is to feel like a badass. Absolutely true. Have that ready. What's up here? Maybe another D20? Oh, Jesus. It is another D20 up here. Yeah, no, that was much farther than I thought it would go. Six. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I knew you were going to hate it. As soon as I saw what it was, I knew you were going to hate it. Yeah. Uh, sadly, the shotgun's already doing a lot less damage than it should be. What? Okay. I shot the cage down. No, that's not what happened. I, I walked up the steps and... A, a, a sword just started spinning in the air for no reason. Okay, that almost looked like they, that was going to take off my head fucking, like, la Final Destination style. Yeah. Don't underestimate my sword! I fail. Okay, never mind, I didn't fall far. Hey, purple. Not a big purple. Where is... up there? Okay, I see. Not some place it looks like we'll be able to get for the minute. Oh, this totally felt like a spot to find a D20. Yeah, no, that one was a little odd, actually. I mean, it's fine, I guess, but uh, I just kind of expected it to be there. So many All right, new anyway, cosmetics. I got points to spend, just the one. Boop. <laughs> I got statue pose the silent. How does that even ha fucking matter? Ah, so I was actually right to shoot this early. Actually, hold on, duh. You know what, I'll just do it. Oh, okay, yeah, no, you guys gotta get back on the elevator. 
There's a chest up here. The one I'm on? Yep. There's also lore! Oh, laggy. A little bit. Skeleton seer. Excuse me, Mr. Oathbreaker. Fuck right off. Yeah, no, he, uh... He, he fucked right up. Unliving quarters. All right. Use detect magic on relics, which is an actual D and D spell. I I, I kind of figured. Uh. Really? Is this one gonna be just right? God damn it. <laughs> no, no, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. All right, I see a D20. Yep. Sixteen. Magnolia of the treetops, a falchion of numbing. Hey, bird. Whee! You. Yeah, you missed a D20. Okay. <laughs> okay. It, it was Boom. platforming. It was just walking, but okay. Uh. No, it is. That's not how that works. Arcane focus out front. Love how it put up a force field and it didn't fucking matter in the slightest. Chest. Shit. Well, infuse theurge of heroism. It's a, a, whole, a legendary amulet for the tome of the holy. It's dark magic and spell shot power bonus. Plus 25% status effect chance, plus 10% to all damage dealt. Whenever you cast a spell, reduce your remaining action skill cooldown by 20%. While your action skill is on cooldown, spell damage is increased by 30%. Here's the problem. I'm not using an action skill. It could possibly just increase your damage by 30%. It's possible, but doubtful. But I will say it's worth equipping just for the increase in spell shot power and the dark magic damage uh, bonus. It is worth it for that alone.
Yeah, because I think that's all I have is dark magic right now. Which is pretty good, honestly. It damn near makes you invincible. It does keep up the healing pretty constantly. I I, I don't go down as much as I used to. It's still happens, yeah. but... Okay, <laughs> I, I thought you'd already jump, bird. Hold on, I'll bring Why it back down. Do that? Okay, that works. I, I literally thought I saw the animation for uh, his character jumping. Her character jumping. Again. With this much soul energy, you need more than one person channeling it, or the effects could be catastrophic. Say it with me. Ragu Barata Testo! No, you did not just fucking replace the Necronomicon words with food. Testo. <laughs> Yeah, that that's what I said. Well, yeah, that that's where it originated from. To unlike. Though, not a lot of people actually know that at this point. A lot of people actually think it came from Ugh. Army of Darkness. Which is also another thing a lot of people don't know, just because they're not... I think you only need, like, those Star Wars cards, because they don't ever say the names, do they? Yeah. He's a murder hobo. Yeah, that's what I said. How many parties have you gotten kicked out of? Not counting this one, all of them. But actually, based on what I remember from, uh... Based on what I remember from a, uh... Dead Meat episode, it actually wasn't... It, it actually wasn't all three words that, uh, turned into the names of species. It was only one... And the other two were actually characters in the scene with the Sarlacc pit. Oh, fuck. Ow. I, uh, I failed platforming. Um, so... Ah, oh, damn. Well, um... Yeah, it is time. I want to see, however, if we can push ahead just a little bit more and uh, uh, and just finish the area, because I feel like we're really close. Uh, is it possible for y'all to send the elevator back down? Probably. And yes, this is the end, because the Dragon Lord literally said that uh, we're it's at the boss, boss arena. arena. Yeah. There's also vendors here, so... Uh, it Little more of an obvious boss arena. Alright. Ooh. Bird, I might have to buy this for you. Graveborn Clawbringer. Companion damage, spell damage, spell crit chance. It's 25% companion All right. damage. So. Now, where was the goddamn thing we had to use to get up there? You shoot the crystal. Here's another one. Jesus Christ. This one's uh, the same thing, but it's ability, crit chance, melee damage, oh and more health regen. Oh my god, these fucking undead keep coming up, and I'm just trying to figure out which teleporter I step on to get up there. Oh, which body can and what the fuck ever. 
Lightning damage, stab a mancer. I think it's uh. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, okay. I, I see it's coming down now. All right. Yeah, you have to use that jump pad over there, I think. Which one is that one? I'm kind of aimed at it, but you're still too low. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the big problem is I don't really recover my ward or anything, so I'm trying not to get shot by enemies too much, so that means I'm having to fight back. God, you went really fucking low. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I fucking did. In fact, I'm in technically a new area right now. Wait, you did hit the top, didn't you? You hit the top and you fell. Yeah, I was up there and then I fell down. God damn it. Oh, look, a d20. <laughs> get to a... Uh, get to a safe spot and check your map, because there's a fast travel up there. Uh, do you know what it's called? Positive headspace. Okay, good. Yeah, it's there. That saved a lot of trouble. Up I go! Uh, I'm coming. Surely but slowly. Very slowly. And then, Bird, I'll go ahead and leave this, uh, class armor down here. It just, it, it's, it's in the middle of the floor. You'll see it. Alright, where did you all go? Okay, I'll see you there. Alright, was this where the D20 was? Yep. Another shield, another ring, another gun. Like I said, very bottom on the floor. Oof. All right. Ugh. Now I'm back up here and can actually uh, participate in the yeah. game again. You were participating. You were getting your ass shot at. Eh, pointlessly. That's that's the issue I took. Stoker pistol. Alrighty. So I guess I'm ready to uh, move on and get Wastler's hey. body back. Holy hell. Pack leader succubus of the castle. Enchanted. After reloading, gain 50% companion crit hit chance, and companions regenerate 8% of their max health per second. Fuck. Huh. Not that, you know, we can even tell what our fucking companion's health bars are at this point. Yeah. Uh, Bird, you'll have to come up here because we have to drop down from up here. The obvious boss arena. That's a pretty big boss arena, too. Guess we'll have to see what mini Tina breaks out for this one. Yeah, I want to go ahead and finish out this zone and move on to the next, and then we'll call it. Well, we don't even have to move on to the next, honestly. Oh, shit. Ah! 
Ow! This fucker really won't leave me alone. Alright, well now he's down to skeleton wastard. What the fuck? I love how my attack followed him as he traveled underground. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this whole teleport around the arena thing is a little annoying. Uh, I only got a purple. Would you... Ooh. Oh, it's corrosive? All right, get Wastard's body back. What, beam? I didn't even have to see. I only had to guess because it's you. Okay. Yeah, this guy's been incorporeal for how long, and he knows how to sprint just fine. D20. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The important thing is, he got consent. <laughs> okay, Pyramid's actually over there now. Okay, Dispel Rune. Ah, okay, I see. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, there's the Pyramid right in front of us. Legendary shield. Yep. Full battery. While your ward is full, taking damage strikes a nearby energy enemy. Ugh. No, I hate amps. And he says uh, that he has one more thing if we're up for it, so it's probably a side quest. Ah, uh, well, we can't really bring it up to him, can we? All right, let's go to the overworld then, because uh, he's not there. Or, I mean, he's there, but... Yeah, but there's no quest, which is fine. Yeah, we will uh, hit the overworld, uh, which has us be officially done with this area. I'm going to go ahead and spend those points really fast. Yeah, and also its ability would consume some of it. Yeah, like I said, be careful, it is an amp. Alright! Well, got through there, and now we're just about ready to take on a dead city, and then the pyramid. So we are approaching the Dragon Lord's lair. And now we're all out of time for the night. Uh, I reckon we'll probably get us our back to Bright Hoof and, uh, you know, sell off stuff and uh, things like that. Just do what we need to do. But uh, that's going to be all we are managing for tonight. Oh. I'll be back. Oh, wait. Hold up.
Oh, so there is a jump now. There technically already was. Mood. <laughs> Yuck! Alright, so now I'm gonna get us back to... Right. Oh my god. <laughs> Aaron G. I love that. Okay, so we're back in Brighthoof, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow, and I'm gonna be streaming uh, Valkyria Chronicles 4 again. Oh, did you forget what you were doing? Um, I'm a little scatterbrained at the moment. Um, but, yeah, no. Uh, so I'm going to be back streaming tomorrow, and we're going to be doing Valkyria Chronicles 4, and it's going to be great. And I'll be back on Monday, where I get to once again clickbait while we free our father from his eternal damnation of despair once again. <laughs> Fun stuff. All right. Well, uh, thanks to folks who came out. I uh, hope y'all had some fun, and y'all have a great night. Stay safe. Later.